Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. My name is Janice. I'm a Thermomix Consultant. Today we're going to be doing one of the recipes out of the basic cookbook, which is the beef randang. Now, one thing the Thermomix is exceptionally good at is curries, um, and I love them. This one is a using a tougher cut of steak, and it's using gravy beef. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to jump in and start cooking. So it says to place two candle nuts into a bowl, cover with boiling water and leave to soak for 30 minutes. I don't have candle nuts, but you can optionally change them for either macadamia nuts or um, blanched almonds, but they don't need soaking. So I'm using macadamia nuts, so we'll keep going. And it says after the 30 minutes, then you, using a simmering basket, drain the candle nuts and set aside. So I have here some macadamia nuts, which are set aside. Okay, place 40 grams of shredded coconut, um, toasted to a deep golden brown. Now, when you're toasting coconut, it only takes a really short time. And if you get busy doing other things, it turns black. Don't ask me how I know that. This is the second lot I did. Okay. And now we're going to um, blitz that up. Okay. 10 seconds speed up. I just need to get my bowl straight ahead. Now we're going to put it back in this little bowl and set it aside. So that's just turned it into a, a fine powder. And it's also released a few of its oils, so. on its own. That smells yummy. Oh yeah. Now we're going to go on to some spices. So we've got um, half a cinnamon stick, um, a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom seed. Now I don't have any cardamom seeds, uh, but I'm going to just put a, just a little bit of cardamom powder in there, like not even like about that much, about an eighth of a teaspoon of cardamom powder, one star anise, okay. mm, it smells good, four whole cloves, oh yeah, that is four, Um, now, without the measuring cup, we're going to roast the spices. So, three minutes at 120 degrees on speed one. Right here. We'll leave that to roast and then I'll come back. I'll put these away. Right, so the um, spices have finished roasting. Um, it's said to leave them to cool slightly, which I have done. And now we're going to add the macadamias. Uh, the macadamias or the candle nuts, are your, that's your thickening agent. So you can use also blanched almonds. I think I said that earlier. Anyway, we're going to pop them in there. And now we're going to put the lid on with the measuring cup and we're going to um, grind them up 30 seconds on speed 10 and that's going to be the spices as well
So that's our macadamias and our um, and our spices, the whole spot. Oh, hang on, let me see. The whole spices that we um, put in there, they're all ground down um, to a nice powder. Right here. So now we're going to add chilies. Now it says to add one to two fresh red red bird's eye chilies to taste, and to, at seventy grams of long red chilies, approximately four chilies. Now these here, they're just two small long chilies that I've got, and they are pretty hot. And that's all the chili I'm going to put in. A um, hundred grams of shallots. Okay. Um, five garlic cloves. So that's like four big ones and a handful of little ones. Um, three to four centimetre piece of fresh ginger peeled. Um, three to four centimetre um, piece of fresh um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Galangal, I think. Um, I've got a. Just thinking I should chop that in half or chop it into pieces. It's actually quite tough. Okay. Compared to the other spice, other aromatics I've just put in there. Two stalks of lemongrass. Um, Cut into pieces, white only. Okay, now we're going to pop the measuring cup, the lid with the measuring cup. And now we're going to chop that for three seconds on speed seven. Okay, scrape down the side with the spatula. Bestie's tree, a tablespoon of peanut oil, and the reserved coconut. I'm going to put the lid back on. simmering basket and then we're going to cook that for four minutes 100 degrees speed two right I'll let that leave that to go and I'll come back when it's time to continue and with the Thermomix I really do love the times when you can just step away and do whatever you like um, there's a step there's a step coming up soon where I think it's like 40 minutes of unattended time and you can really get some stuff done in like where you would have normally been standing there and stirring the pot, watching the pot. Oh yeah. So now we're going to add a kilo of um, gravy beef cut into pieces. Um, now that says 482 kilos, 482 grams, but I actually had the lid in the simmering basket on when I, and I didn't tear the scale, so that's 900 grams. Um, there was a fair bit of fat and sinew on the beef that I have, that I trimmed away, but there was a kilo to start with, it was over a kilo to start with, but yeah. Now we're gonna put the lid back on with the simmering basket. 
and we're going to cook that for 10 minutes at, um, what is it, at 100 degrees, speed one. So I'll leave that for 10. Now we're going to add 270 grams of coconut milk. I've got a full can of coconut milk here, but I will probably, I'm going to make coconut rice, so I'll use the rest of it in that. Now we've got to tear that. the lid on with the simmering basket and then we're going to cook that for another 10 minutes and it's 90 degrees and the blade is on reverse oh yeah speed one and we'll leave that go ready go so that's done now we're going to add a pinch of salt Give it a bit of a scrape down. Yeah. Might give it a little bit of extra. Um, Twenty to thirty grams of palm sugar. Oops, without cutting my fingers. Never quite game just to throw it all in in a big puck. Now we're going to put the lid on with the simmering basket in place. Oops. And now we're going to cook that for 40 minutes um, at 90 degrees on speed one. So um, when it's done, you test the meat, see if it's um, cooked enough. And if it's not, you can prolong it for up to 15 minutes. Anyway, we're going to leave that to cook, and uh, and I'll be back when it's done. And so, okay, so that's uh, that's finished cooking now, and we're going to. It says to allow it to rest for five minutes um, before serving. I'm going to pop it into my thermo server, um, and that will keep the food hot for up to two hours. Um, and I'm going to cook the rice next. So I'll, I won't um, include the rice in this video. I'm going to make coconut rice 
and there's a recipe there that I've got that I make. Um, it's got pandan leaves in it or something like that, but I don't put them in it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pop this. Oh, hang on. What I might do is I might test test the meat first to make sure that it is cooked to my liking. And it's cooked beautifully. I'll have to pick all the kappa lime leaves out. I will put that aside until we're ready to eat it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to give it a big thumbs up, pop over to my channel, subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time.